Okay, it is May 3rd. It is May 3rd, uh, 2021. And I am standing here on the Savage River and across the river. You can see my friend uh, Alexander, who I often refer to as the Monsignor. And um, it is in the evening. We got a pretty good soaking ass rain today. And um, but it kind of it kind of stopped raining, and we're going to see if we can't get a couple hours in before the end of the evening. So uh, Sandy decided to fish this on that side. I'm going to start on this side, and a couple of guys are above us. So let's see if we can get some wild browns today. All right. <laughs> oh, I did see that. I still have my dropper. I lost my dropper. Son of a gun, he took my dropper. So much for that. Biggest problem right now is I can't see. There it is. There we go. That's a fish. Haha. -ha. Okay, that's my first Savage River trout. And I am very nice. I don't know what he is. I don't know if he's got any size to him, but I came here to catch fish. Oop. <laughs> All right. And this is what I came for. Came for a Savage River Brown. Yeah, hold still. Hold still.
but I gotta tell you, it is very hard to see actually because it's very foggy. You know, the water is very cold. Uh, they bump the uh, they bumped the flow up to 130 CFS last night. Um, So the guy at the outfitter said it usually takes them a day to settle back in after they bump the flow up. But, I don't know, we're catching fish. So it's good. And really, I'm just, uh... There you go, Sandy's got a nice one on there. Brown stone fly. Looks like an energetic fish. That's a nice fish. That's a very nice fish. Hold him up there, Monsignor. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go fishing here this morning right across from the uh, camp we had some pretty substantial rain last night uh, thank god for the uh, pop-up that we brought and actually set up over the tent because just the daytime rains yesterday already showed us it was going to be a problem um, but yeah, it's a nice camp, kind of keeping the fire smoldering so that we have uh, some lunch food, and yeah, we're going to go out and fish. Alright, so it's uh, day two on the Savage, the sun came out, and uh, still a little steaming, but God, look at this gorgeous water. They're in there. Right here, the water's fast, and the wading is uh, treacherous, to say the least. So, I'll find myself a better lie. Monsignor's over there on the side working the riprap. We're just trying to figure it out today. All right. Alright, we've got a Savage River Brown on. Let's see if I can get him to me. It's a very nice fish. Whoop! He's a strong fish. Jesus. Come on. There we go. Come here, sweet pie. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here, sweetie pie. Come here. 
Come here. Come here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Oh. That's an honest to God 14. Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. That's the one I wanted. Come here. Huh. Come here, bitch. All right, so I'm just standing here uh, taking a little break on uh, 7x run here on the Savage after landing that brown and um, just taking a break and resting the fish and watching what's going on. Got that one on a 16 Adams. There's a nice little hatch of uh, blue duns coming off. The uh, sporadic surface rise, and I haven't quite been able to key in on what they're taking underneath, but that was such a nice take. I just kind of patiently waited for my chance there, and uh, he was rising steadily and I just would make a couple of casts and rest him and let him start up again and um, Monsignor's way up there on the right side the sun's kind of off on my left here in the shade it's getting a little hard to see my fly on the water though I don't know how much of that is my eyes and just a lot of a lot of glare here but Oh, there's... Uh, I think that is a fish there. Alright. Let's see what happens. <sighs> okay, so last week... Uh, watching the flows... The river came down to 80, which would have been perfect, and stayed at 80 um, right up until we left for Maryland on Monday. And during the day, okay. they bumped it up to 130 CFS, which still wasn't bad. Shall we do now? And then. Uh, Tuesday they bumped it up again with the rain to 280 which got a little bit difficult so of course today's Wednesday we woke up in the morning and even though it looks pretty nice it's actually at 600 CFS and it's ripping there you go that gives you an idea <laughs> of where land was yeah well this was fishing so nice that first evening you know even at 130 but they with the weather they've just been bumping it up and bumping it up and this morning it was really discolored I think just from the initial churning. Yeah, like I was like, yeah, I walked straight through there yesterday, and I wouldn't even attempt that today because I mean, 
I was like right at the verge. Right at the verge of like, okay, can I can I do this without getting my legs taken out from under me? But uh, so the plan here, we just had lunch. So the plan here is to go up around the reservoir and check the tribs. We made a quick errand for some firewood this morning and looked at one of the tribs coming into the reservoir and uh, it was definitely high but it was clear and like you know kind of almost fishable maybe so we got to start rethinking the plan if they don't bring this water down uh, Thursday and Friday on the Savage might be a wash but I don't know so we're just gonna go spend the day today scouting out some alternatives we got the, the hip boots in the truck and the rods and we'll go see uh, if we can go hit some smaller streams I don't know. There it is. I think it's blue done coming off again. But I'm not seeing nothing out there today. So yeah, it's it's uh, the Savage River is pretty savage today. Not not looking great for fishing. So I'm damn sure not going to wait it. All right, so. We've decided this morning with the uh, lower Savage over 600 and the upper Savage under 200 again and dropping after we paid the visit yesterday. We've decided to go ahead and give the uh, Upper Savage a try for some stocked rainbows and Sandy's already gotten one and it's a real pretty piece of water I was here in the fall and uh, I saw it at 7 CFS which was basically a trickle but we've got a pretty spot here with a run that uh, Sandy did nab one out of. It's a big run. So I'm just going to slowly but surely try to let that bugger drift down and The lower Savage, as beautiful as it is, at 600 is just crazy hard to fish. Okay, so on the upper Savage here, fishing the uh, fishing the stocked water, uh, and I got one on a woolly bugger. I mean, it's gorgeous. Whoops, come here. Come here. Come here. It's got a Savage River Rainbow here. Come on. So I can get a foothold in the water. Oop, there we go. I got a foothold in the water. Okay. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nicer than expected fish actually out of here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright. Okay. So we got a we got a twelve and a half. Not quite thirteen. Let's see if we can get a quick photo of you. You know, ah, son of a bitch. Now we got to get him back in.
Hammer. Hammer. Ah. Hammer. A little tough with the ten foot rod. All right, there you go. Little stock savage. Very nice. Oh. Well, Sandy's waiting out there. Wow, look at that. That's pretty. Still the upper savage. When it has water in it. Okay, so we got a little a little rainbow here. Came up for the woolly bugger. Yeah. He's just a little nipper. He did the little nipper. But isn't this gorgeous scenery? Oh my gosh. This is at 180, 190 CFS, which looks a hell of a lot better than seven, like I saw it in uh, October. Let me get this little guy over here. Oh, I got a brook trout. I got a brook trout. I got a brook trout. Woohoo! Stop, 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 stop. I got a brook trout. Brookie! Nice. I got a brookie. Nice. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Oh, very nice. That's why that guy was so upset when he lost that fish here before. Because normally I wouldn't get so upset about a little rainbow. There you go. Very cute. Nice. All right. Well, gee whiz. That was cool. Maybe I can do that again. There you go. I, I made the trifecta. Browns, rainbows, and brook trout this trip. Well, that's just bloody marvelous. All right. Cool. Well, that's good. My day is complete.